help us, morning, help our audience navigate the tape bombs down in D.C. right now. It's headline after headline around fiscal talks. How do you process those headlines, Phil? Yeah, I think the last 24 hours of price action, Jonathan, are extremely telling. The gloominess from September, the really bad seasonals from September were all changed on a dime because of the realization that we believe fiscal talks may, the fiscal plan may get delayed, but this is happening, Jonathan, this is happening, along with some pretty incredible data. Chicago PMI, best since December of 2018. ADP payroll report, better than expected. Setting us up for a really nice payroll report uh, com coming on Friday. Jonathan, there is no denying that we are in a new cycle, and that is the signal. It is not the noise coming from Washington, John. Phil Kemper, how do you separate the noise, as you call it, from mm -hmm. equity market performance? I mean, it's a task yep. that everybody has to do every day. I would suggest harder now. How do you make that separation? Well, uh, Tom, it's a, it's a really nice spot to be a multi-asset investor right now. I think that's the key. So there's two sides to the multi-asset portfolio, right? The 60 and the 40. On the 60 side, which is the equity side, what we're doing is we're diversifying our overweights. This is not just a U.S. exceptionalist story anymore. We believe this is a new global cycle. The world will emerge from the pandemic in 2021, which is critically important. However, you can't be blind to the noise that we're seeing uh, from the election and from and from fiscal. So on the 40 side, it's a credit story, Tom. Ten-year Treasury notes are not moving. Ten-year Treasury notes are not really going to protect the equity allocation. We believe credit is a great place to be, both on the investment grade side, the securitized side, which is non-corporate credit, and high yield. Those three things make up 75% of our fixed income. If you think about what the aggregate is, Tom, that's 85% government bonds. So we are making a big bet on credit because government bonds aren't moving, Tom.